What is up everybody? This is Martz here from Section Store once again and today we're gonna have a look at this cheeky little truss batches slider section right here. So you can see it does work with those little dots right here and you can add up to three little points or even more up to you actually and I'm gonna show you in a couple easy steps how you can customize it, get it in your own store and have a good day as well. So let's get right into it. The first thing I did for this is that I had it on over to the Shopify app store where I did get the Section Store app component library with over 300 fully customizable Shopify exclusive components. Then simply find the trust batches for under our new sections or with the help of our search bar. And here you can see already all the things you can customize in this section. And before actually being able to use it, you have to pay a $9 fee just once. That means if you bought it once, you also own it forever. You have all the customization options in the world and you don't need a developer who's going to custom code that for you. So at the end of the day, it's a big time and money saver, in my opinion. So yeah, after successfully getting the section, head back to the My Sections area of the app where you have to add the section to the theme you're using. In my case, it is the Dawn Light theme. It's this one right here, but it does work on every theme, so don't worry about that. And then simply open up your theme editor right here. I've already done so. This is the one you saw in the beginning of the video. Just hit to the product page and then you are good to use it. So I'm just gonna get rid of that so I can show you how the whole process works completely from scratch. So as you can see right here, I just type in trust batches for, that's the way, save it up. Always make sure you save it up so you don't run into any unnecessary errors. And yeah, here you can already see it. And if I click on one of the blocks, you can see, I can simply change this, put in a custom icon, and instead of 48, we are even faster. It's going to be 24. So there you didn't see it for a second. But yeah, if I switch on over here, you can already see it is working. And I could add another item as well. So example icon. And here I'm just going to put an airplane, save it up again, and show you that it's still perfectly working so yeah here you can see it of course it is working on mobile as well so if you switch to mobile it's still looking like that and now i want to show you some general customization things you can do the whole thing if you click on the main thing itself you can even decide where it's going to be positioned so let's save this up real quick so now we have it up here but i do want it underneath the buy buttons actually i do think it does make the most sense there and after saving it up, we can also see how much time it's going to take with the autoplay. We can even decide if it's going to be autoplay or not, the item gap. A lot of things we can actually customize, text size, dot size, if you want to have it on desktop or not. Let's just change this to green maybe. Maybe that's going to attract a bit more attention. Yeah, this is looking nice. And I want to have the text color maybe in yellow just to get a bit funky. Now let's switch it to that. Save it up again. And yeah, that's pretty much it. In a second, I'm gonna see you in the live store and then we can pretty much round it up. And here we are in the live store of our little test store. And as you can see right here, the section is working perfectly fine with the autoplay intact. Also, we have our force lights right here. We can also navigate like this. And yeah, that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. Hope you guys found it useful. And if you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. And with that being said, have a good one and peace out.